Hey, my name is Daniel and welcome to my YouTube channel. <clears throat> so in this video I want to talk about the different ingestion types of weed. Kind of in the order of how good I think they are, but it's problem, it's somewhat the order of uh, me trying them. That being said, I don't encourage anyone to smoke weed or, or not. Uh, I, if you watch this video, probably you, you actually intend to. So, uh, I will kind of list uh, joint, uh, bong, and uh, vaping, and edibles. Kind of compare them, pros and cons, and stuff like that. So the first one I tried was uh, a classic joint, and uh, joints, uh, I know actually two types, one is pure cannabis and uh, the second is mixed with tobacco in like, uh, I don't know, two to one ratio, kind of. I actually first tried the tobacco one, and uh, you know, the kind of the benefit or the reason people do this is uh, because tobacco increases dopamine for a higher extent than uh, weed. So, in that extent, like it kind of gets you more high or like gets you higher, cheaper. I don't know. I kind of sometimes notice a difference, but I can't really recall it in this video. And there is the other uh, simple pure joint that has uh, only cannabis. Uh, so I would say the pros of this is, I don't know, just the vibes, the feeling, the, the classicness of it, just uh, passing it around and uh, or being outside, uh, listening to Wiz Khalifa or something and just having that classic vibe, so to speak. You can carry it around, it's easier than, you know, having a bong. Uh, and it hits in, like, pretty fast. And I don't see, like, that much, uh, too much benefit to it. Uh, cause is, like, I don't think it's too economic, uh, especially if you, like, have a low tolerance and you just want to light it up once in a while. Um... You know, a lot of times you have to like stop it, and and that uh, burnt weed is kind of wasted. It's not good for the lungs. Um, and yeah, it's like not economical and not good for the lungs. That's that's all the cons I think. Okay, the second, uh, somewhat third, it's what I tried it was the bong. And I saw here that it's like. Uh, pretty economic, like uh, more economical than the, the joint because you never waste the weed by like just kind of you know pushing it and stopping it. You hit, take a hit, and it uh, hits you instant instantly. Well, that's kind of the difference because at the bong you usually like uh, take a bigger hit, and with joint it's like you kind of just have the vibe. But you can just take smaller hits, one bong too. So yeah, compared to joints, I think it's just more economical and uh, somewhat cleaner because of the water. Okay, downside is like you cannot carry a bong in your pack pocket, and you know messing with the water and cleaning it and stuff like that. Of course, you have to make a joint, which is like an art of itself you know, compared to joints. Uh, okay, I think they kind of just give a similar feeling just with the difference that with bong you usually take a bigger hit. Uh, now the big uh, game change is uh, vaping. So I actually don't have this electric vape, I have uh, one that you have to like, you have this uh, torch kind of uh, lighter and you heat it up and uh, you know you smoke it uh, as if you wouldn't know you heat up the weed it kind of evaporates the THC and uh, you kind of just take the pure THC in instead of all the burnt stuff that's the difference um, so yeah you also have to clean this you also have to like mess around with weed uh, more times uh, I think it's somewhat the cleanest, but I think with uh, like electric one that you know really has the perfect amount of heat because with the torch thing it's like hard to 
catch like how when you really really wipe out old weed but not burn it so it's like that's difficult for me mm. same for feeling uh, compared bon to bong and uh, joint uh, it's kind of like kicks in slower I think it, it takes like 20 minutes to like really feel the effects or 25 uh, with bong you kind of instantly feel it, but Bong also has like a come up of, I don't know, like 10 minutes, I guess. So, comparing the two, uh, you know, like how good they are for your lungs, I think like, yeah, vaping is slightly better, uh, kind of decision of which to use is like how sharp high do you want and how how long do you want like if you want to uh, longer something or uh, or just have a sharper high and you know want it to kick in faster and you know go away faster uh, I don't that much like the um, vaping if I'm like just already smoked a lot because it's just I don't know messes with my head it's kind of like gives this head vacuum weirdness kind of thing um yeah okay the fourth one is the edibles and uh so I think kind of the bong and the vape is kind of similar in rating of how good they are. Uh, joint is the worst, but it has a nice vibe. So edibles, I would say it's it's my favorite. Uh, the dosaging with edibles, I think it's kind of like if you if you start to smoke like at. Uh, 8 a.m. and you usually go to sleep uh, at midnight so you have like a four hour session what you use uh, on that session uh, that's the amount that uh, it's good to bake and that will be the right amount that you know it's just comfortable good high uh, I usually make uh, firecrackers which is just uh, I get two pieces of, of um, Cakes or how do you, some some bread or something? I put uh, peanut butter on both sides, put the wheat there, and put it in for like 140, 60 Celsius for 10, 15 minutes, and that's kind of it. Uh, and what I really like in it is, uh, I think it's better for for like controlling yourself with weed because it's very different when uh, with bong you have like this inst relatively instant high and here you have to wait uh, two hours to to like really really feel it and knowing this gives you like more control it's not just going for the instant gratification you have to like really really plan it and not just um randomly smoke uh, kind of without control so yeah it takes about like two hours to kick in for the uh, edibles or brownie or cold whatever and uh, me personally I usually just like to work out uh, until it kicks in because it just really makes a workout fun and you know after uh, uh, after one hour when you kind of start to feel it the workout kind of intensifies the high and good feelings mixed with you know the workout endorphins and somehow I don't know it gives your blood more oxygen or something that uh, I kind of feel uh, the tender range is really really fun uh, yeah um, I think it gives a much more much more uh, purer high it, you don't have the burned stuff inside of you it's just the pure stuff and it kind of doesn't drag me down, doesn't make me tired. Uh, it kind of gives like this energetic, fun, happy high. 
uh, that's why I, I think it's number one with the right dosage uh, and also that it's like you don't have this a lot of times with especially if, if I have tolerance with bong and, and you know, all the other stuff I really have this anxiety of losing high you get high and you're like oh I'm gonna lose this soon and you and I have to like I either run out of weed or I uh, <clears throat> have to make, make another one and uh, and that just just messes with your kind of high happiness with uh, edibles especially if you don't do it every day like once a week or something you get high and you know that you gonna have a good time for the next four hours and you, if you like really like I said once a week or something and the right dosage it's really really comforting that oh I don't have high tolerance so I just I'm gonna have a good time for the next four hours and then you know sleep that's just really really comforting feeling uh, yeah, so it's much purer, mm, better. I think it's it's a more energetic. Don't you don't have all these burnt stuff. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you know brownies kind of give you a different high. I think it's uh, kind of more psychedelic. Somehow your liver digests this to different uh, THC kind of thing, and you know, it kind of gives you a little bit more high. So yeah, for me, number one is edibles. However, which one to choose in certain situations? Um, I really don't recommend anyone to be a smoker. To be honest, I don't think it's good uh, every day, and uh, you know having binges and stuff but usually the best method is something that you haven't done in a while so it's kind of for lowering tolerance so to speak um if you did the best one you know edibles for like two or three days in a row you know uh do bong if you did bong you you know do uh waving so mixing up with the different um, ingestion methods kind of you know gives you a new kind of high. But like I said, I really encourage everyone to not to smoke too much weed, not to be a stoner, or at least have a nice control about uh, you know quantity, also quality, of course. Yeah, so um, that was my you know opinion on the different uh, ingestion methods um, I have other videos about weed and I want to make t videos about tattoos and stuff or whatever philosophical s thoughts so su subscribe to my channel please and I uh, you don't know like give me some comments about uh, you know what I said which is your favorite uh, ingestion method so have a nice day, night, morning, afternoon.